I am Mrs. Ruby Merlot. As a cultural, colorful pouring icon, I dress for every pour as one would naturally dress for dinner. I channel my muse with a quick vocal exercise, then ask my canvas what it wants to be. And now that you know my story, shall we pour? Welcome, gracious viewers. Whether it's your first time with me or a return visit, I look forward to sharing the next few minutes with you. As some of you know, I begin each pour with a vocal exercise to channel my muse. Orange, yellow, purple, blue, and red, and green. Me, 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 me. And then I ask my canvas what it wants to be. I am not strange. I am just not normal. Salvador Dali said that. Though I often sense many of my socialite friends consider me to be both strange and not normal, they are bound by etiquette and proper breeding not to voice those thoughts. At least not to me. But I ask you, why would one want to be normal? This paint pour is what I call a stripe swipe. Today I'm serving up leftovers, something I'd never allow my personal chef to do. But I have all these paint remnants I had mixed with pouring medium for a previous pour, and I don't want to waste them. Each of the colors contains a bit of silicone. The white I add across the middle does not. I discovered these wonderful heavy plastic dividers from something called the Goodwill. At last season's benefit gala, Mitzi Winthrop let it slip that she had purchased her designer gown there. Well, as you can imagine, that was the last time we saw her at the club, though she and her secret cheesecake recipe are still welcome at the bridge table. These dividers work so well for large swipes, and they are practically indestructible. My maid can even clean them off so I can reuse them. This swipe technique can be very forgiving. You see, I re-swipe certain sections and the cells pop through again. And for a pour that might not be progressing as you'd hoped, you can always try a swipe to save it. Often the results will delight you. When I'm finished tilting, I decide to embellish it a bit, as I am not totally pleased with the amount of white left in the middle. I use my palette knife to drag in other colors and to pull some of the white into surrounding areas. Just like cosmetic surgery, it can be tricky to know when to stop, but a little judicious knife work can vastly improve the finished look. Quite often, I will torch paintings to bring out additional cells. In this one, I didn't need to. And here, while still wet, is a close-up of the finished stripe swipe. Cells of every color and size burst through in wild abandon. The result reminds me of a psychedelic snake, and so the painting is named. Thank you for joining me. I ask that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Such a distasteful but necessary request. And as always, gracious viewers, I hope to pour with you again soon.